At the end of this training, you should be able to Understand general requirements of the hazard communication standard Understand what the workplace hazard communication program includes Understand and use the information on labels and in safety data sheets This training will focus on the following points Hazard classification Hazard communication program Labels and other forms of warning Safety data sheets Inform and train employees This training will help you to understand how hazard communication works Chemical manufacturers and importers classify the hazards of chemicals they produce or import and prepare labels and safety data sheets based on the classifications Chemicals are shipped to employers by chemical manufacturers, importers or distributors All employers receive labeled containers and safety data sheets with shipped chemicals All employers must prepare a written hazard communication program including a list of the hazardous chemicals in the workplace Employers implement the program Employers must ensure All containers of hazardous chemicals are labeled Safety data sheets are maintained for all hazardous chemicals Workers are trained on program elements, hazards, protective measures Employers keep information up to date Labels are an appropriate group of written, printed or graphic informational elements concerning a hazardous chemical that are affixed to, printed on, or attached to the immediate container of a hazardous chemical or to the outside packaging The label is an immediate type of warning since it is present in the work area right on the actual container of a hazardous chemical it is a snapshot of the hazards and protective information related to the chemical and a summary of the more detailed information available on the safety data sheet here is an example of a label according to the OSHA standard a label must contain the following information product identifier supplier identification precautionary statements hazards pictograms Signal word Hazard statements Supplemental information